my name is Gabby and this is the very first sketchbook I have ever finished cover to cover. I filled this out during a time where my style really shifted from stuff like this to stuff like this. And yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool to flip through this and see how my style developed throughout. Um, so if you're into cozy sketchbook tours, then I think this will be totally your jam. And yeah, let's get into the tour. All right, so this is my sketchbook. It's a moleskin sketchbook. It's kind of basic. Yeah, let's start flipping through it. So I started this sketchbook when I was getting back into art after kind of a long hiatus. I was actually in Belize at the time. And so this was a still life of some plantains that we had. This is me doing kind of a plain air um, sketch. Yeah, this isn't like at all the kind of art that I make anymore, but I think it was still a good exercise. And this is a fruit stand that we went to in Belize. Um, it's kind of nice to have little sketches that are like memories for, for future me to look at. Here I was like very ready to fill up this whole spread with plants, but I never finished it. So a little bit of empty space here. This is after I got back home I took my sketchbook to the lakefront and this I think is where I discovered my love of drawing ducks I don't know what it is about them but I love drawing them but this is a spread that is a great example of me trying to find my art style I really wanted to have like an illustrative type of style and I was really trying to make that happen for myself but I remember being really frustrated when I made this um, spread here I did a still life of some flowers and I remember really liking this until I put this black marker on top so I guess that was a lesson in like learning when to walk away from a piece these are more pen sketches I turned this into a little animation little Pomeranian painting I think this is so cute and I um, still to this day will put berets on random animals because I just I think it's adorable but these spreads are kind of the beginning of my obsession with these paper mate flare pens I don't know what it is about these pens but um, yeah I really like to draw in them um, I like think I just like the colors honestly so this is a little portrait I did of me and my boyfriend to be honest, I think we look a little bit creepy, but it's still cute. Um, here's a magical forest. I tried drawing for a prompt list. Um, I'm really not into like drawing scenes that much, but I thought I'd give it a go. So here's some more animals. I really like drawing koi fish, so you'll see quite a few of them throughout, again with the ducks. And here is another spread, a great example of me really trying to make like a cute cartoony style work for me. So just more pen doodles. Whenever I'm going through mental health stuff, I'm like writing things in my sketchbook a little bit more. I really like this. Again with the koi fish. I love them. I'm covering up these because I was doing a little style study. More pen doodles. I actually turned this one into a painting later on in the sketchbook. I really like this shopping cart. I think that's cute. All right, so here we're hitting June and I was really inspired by Katie Mai. I love her. Really am obsessed with how she draws fishes. Like they're so cute. All right, I really like how this turned out. You can see my style of sketching portraits is changing a little bit from what I had previously to be a little bit more realistic. I really like this cat. Also, tortoises are fun. Wait, he is really cute. All right, here I am doing some like landscapes, environments. It's not really my wheelhouse. I did turn this into a finished piece, but I didn't mm. really love it. More pen doodles. You can see the way I'm drawing faces is changing once again. And ducks and tigers. That's kind of like my, my brand at this point. Here's a little puppy painting I did. So more portraits here. I was trying something with like trying to turn like the planes of the faces into bubbles. Not sure. Not sure about that. <laughs> here are just some more animal doodles. I was doing some manifestation and affirmations on this page and drawing some more like mystical creatures. I love how this tiger and this toucan turned out. Super cute. 
this was my era of labeling plants and animals. I did this for like two spreads. And then this is the point where I kind of abandoned the sketchbook for a few months. And when I came back, I drew this and uh, it kind of just like naturally happened to look like this. And it was kind of cool to see that like, hey, maybe this is more my like natural style. Um, here I did a little like style comparison. I really like how this one turned out. Um, this one doesn't really feel like me. More pen portraits. I love her. Some more fish. I really like how this guy turned out and this guy. I think their expressions are super cute. So here I was, I was going through it again. <laughs> I was writing some like positive words here. All right, so more pen sketches. I discovered that kangaroos are very weird looking creatures, like super weird. I really like her outfit. Um, here's a little like composition I was working on that I abandoned and then more pen drawings. I turned this into a final illustration, but I couldn't figure out how to draw the hands. Um, it's a struggle. So I turned um, the middle portion of this illustration into two tigers. On this spread, I really like the bunny. I think that might be my favorite. And the ladybug. She's cute. I'm kind of combining like my love for like doodles and colors with a little bit more of like how I naturally draw, which is a little bit more realistic. I especially like how this tiger turned out. Some more portraits. I was trying to kind of convey like how I feel when I'm being pulled and pushed in too many directions. I think this was the spread that I realized I am not super um, practiced at drawing fabric. I love drawing uh, fashion, but it's hard when you don't know how to draw fabric folding. Okay, I love this spread because it's all like full of inside jokes between me and my boyfriend. So I drew him here. This is his dog, Lily. She is a precious baby angel and I love her so much. Also, I love this dancing loaf. Here I did some warm-up sketches, which I rarely do, but I should do more. Um, some more portraits, and then here I did actually the same still life I did earlier, but in marker. Alright, and then here we have reached the final eight spreads, which I finished all in a single day, and I made a video on it. I love how this spread turned out. I wanted to work on drawing more diverse faces. Okay, so this is my duck spread. I, I love ducks so much, um, and I was drawing this with um, colored pencil and those like paint markers. I don't know why I can't think of what they're called, but ducks are precious and I love them. So this is just more animals in pen. I love this pigeon. Absolutely love it. And here I was having fun with drawing shoes. Um, I think shoes is something that I like struggled to draw for a very long time. So the fact that I can kind of draw them now is very, very cool and epic to me. Here I turned that tiger sketch from earlier into a little gouache sketch painting thing. I don't love it, but I like it. Here I actually decided to study some clothing. I'm now realizing that I really suck at drawing hands still, so I gotta practice that more, unfortunately. Um, some more portraits that I did in pencil and then I added some colored pencil to them as well and then this is the final spread um, I was so tired by the time I got to this but I love how this cat turned out I think he's super funny so yeah that is the end of this sketchbook hey um, if you are watching this that means that you made it to the end of the video congratulations and also thank you I appreciate you so much if you liked this video then I urge you to watch the video where I actually finished this sketchbook in a day it's very epic and fun and awesome and I really think that you would like it um, thank you so so much again for watching and have a great rest of your day bye okay.